Hello everyone, it's Nicole here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to keep the intro short because I know you all come here for the solution. So I stopped by my favorite local nursery, the flower farm. Unlike the other nurseries in town, they actually take cuttings and propagate all of their house plants. Yes, all of them. So sometimes they might encounter some pests on plants. I talked to the nursery owner, Keith, and he shared with me the way that he used to get rid of spider mites and other pests. This is also the easiest and cheapest way that he found so far. If you're interested, keep on watching. So this is the flower farm owner, Keith. Hey, say hi to people. Hello, everybody. So um, I want to ask you a question that I'm just so curious how you guys handle it. When I bring a plant home, it's possible that the plant has some pest on it, but I did not see it. So what should I do when I see any spider mites or any pests on it? Um, after a few weeks or what should I do after I bring a plant home? Well, <clears throat> one of the first things of course you're going to inspect it all and most plants white flies uh, aphids uh, Red spiders are going to be on the back side of the leaf Particularly the eggs. They'll be along the stem or whatever. So one of the things that I would tell people to do here uh, when they come and ask us is to take the plastic bag wrap it around real tight okay my if you live where you've got a garden hose then you wash the back side of it with some good pressure because you're washing the eggs and the spiders off if you get rid of the eggs pretty soon the spiders die if you don't get them all and, and they're free but you need to do this once or twice a week for more than one week uh two or three weeks and so i'm going to show you right now what i tell people to do As long as you're bending the leaves upward, it will not hurt them. And so we wash them with cold water out of a shower or whatever, or the garden hose, and do this once or twice a week. And this, I think, is probably more effective for spider mites than anything you could spray it with. Okay. Do you have to replace the soil if you, uh, if the plant already infected? Uh, the red spider mites would not be in the soil. Now, uh, thrip. There are other larvae that would live in the soil, and the best because they will hatch also. Just keep washing, and if you will wash them off, that's as that is as uh, economical and safest thing you can do. Get your bag around it, and pretty soon they'll leave. Now, I understand fungus gnats is a different problem, <laughs> okay? But fungus gnats usually develop mainly because the soil's too wet. If you let it dry out and still, you know, they're gnats. They're, they're in the house. They're, they're in just the annoying, air. but... They're, come, they're just out in the air. A lot of people get real excited about having bugs but remember, they're here. They're on the earth. They're going to get into your house sometime. You don't have to purchase any solution to clean all the leaves and stuff. Well, no, no, you don't have to. But I mean, you can use uh, uh, soap sprays. You gotta make sure if you use soap sprays or neem oil that you don't put it out in the sun because the sun on the oil can burn it. Good to know. Thank you. Yeah. So this is my philodendron brandy. I noticed it grows very slow lately. It shouldn't be because it's a type of philodendron and this plant usually grow very fast. And if we look closer, especially like right here, do you guys see a little like tiny spider webs right here? And if we look at the other leaves, right here can you guys see it it might be a little bit difficult but there are a lot of spider mites on these leaves especially they love to stay on the new ones so i'm going to use keith method and i have a 
plastic bag try to wrap around the soil the reason why we use the plastic bag is we don't want all the soil to fall off and we want to uh, pull it upside down and then turn on the garden hose and really spray the area right now it's on shower mode and we need to change it to full or maybe jet you might need to be careful with jet because your plant might get some damage and mine is a kind of a small plant so I'm going to go with the full okay let's do it now okay this big leaf and now go to the smaller one I think still a little bit too gentle so let me go to, go for the jet and I really want to clean off the smaller leaves so the back oops see this is the damage that I made so be careful and I'm going to switch back to the fall okay done I just checked the back of the leaves they all look pretty good I don't see any by the mice for now but I will repeat it later this week hopefully I can get rid of those spider mice because they're so annoying that's it for today's video if unfortunately you find some spider mice or other pests on your plants maybe you can try Keith method it's so easy so cheap zero dollars and it doesn't require mixing solutions or um, diluted any soapy water and rubbing alcohol yeah so why don't I do that <laughs> if you have any other easy ways that you use to get rid of spider mites or other pests make sure you leave a comment below I think everyone will really really appreciate the tips that's it for today if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel click the bell button to turn on all notifications and i really hope this video is helpful to all of you that's it for today my name is nicole i will see you in my next one bye bye